find the equation of the curve GX given that, so they've given us that the derivative of GX equals 3 square root X plus 2. And I also know that the curve passes through the point 1 and 2, which means that that 1 and 2 is somewhere on our graph. Now, what I need to know is I need to find the curve gx. Now I know that to find gx, gx will equal the integral of gx, which means this will be the integral of this function 3, and I'm going to rewrite that as x to the power half plus 2, and I'm going to do that in terms of x. Okay, so this is what I do. To find gx from the derivative, I have to integrate I have to integrate the derivative to find the value. Okay, and that value there, this value I have here, is just that value there. Now, let's integrate this. The integral of 3x to the power half is 3x to the power half plus 1. Now, if I add 1, I'm adding 1 over 1. Uh, 2 over 2, because 2 over 2 is 1. Divide by my new power. And a half plus 2 over 2 is 3 over 2. Plus, if I have a constant value, I actually add an x. Of course, if I differentiate that, I should get 2. And then I'm also going to have a plus c. Now this equals, if I divide by 2 over 3, what I do is I multiply by the reciprocal 2 over 3, right? So that cancel. But if I do this underneath the line, I must also do that above the line. So I'm going to multiply by 2 over 3 above the line. Okay, so 2 times 3 is 6, divided by 3 is 2. So it means that those two cancel. That gives us now a new equation. It's going to give us 2 x to the power, a half plus 2 over 2 is 3 over 2 plus 2x plus c. Okay. The problem now, however, is that that is the value that, this is the equation. This is the general equation. So this is the equation, but we don't know where this equation goes. All I know, we have plus c. But they give us a point that goes through the point. Which means, if I substitute x is 1 into this equation, and y, which is gx, in there, I'll be able to find c, because now I want to get rid of that c value to find the specific answer. So I'm going to say, if gx equals 2, and x equals 1, I'm going to substitute gx is 2, equals 2 times x is 1. 1 to the power of 3 over 2. So if I see an x, I'm going to put a 1. Plus 2 times 1 plus c. That will give us anything to the power. 1 to any power is 1. So this will be 2 equals 2 plus 2 plus c. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 equals 4 plus c. Subtract 4 on both sides. Take 4, take 4 c will equal negative 2. This will give me one answer. It means that gx, gx equals 2x to the power 3 over 2, 2x to the power 3 over 2, plus 2x plus c. And what c? c is negative 2. So that's the equation of the curve that go where, the, where this is the gradient and it goes to this, that point. Please note that this is the same as if I write that in cert form. It will be 2 x cubed square root, that's what the square root means that, plus 2x minus 2. That's exactly the same answer.